Okay, to continue this series, I'll still be doing IBM Digital Nation. However, there's an important announcement on the website that says starting 31st July, the site will no longer be available. So for free resources, you have to go to skillsbuild.org. So you can take note, this video is recorded prior the inaccessibility so the updates if you are viewing this after july 31 is to go to skillsbuild.org now moving on to the next part of the series i'll be going through the second course on the list which is two hours predict employee turnover using IBM Watson Studio okay as the first one it has the introduction it has the skills gained it has what you will learn so the skills gained the data refinery data science IBM cloud IBM Watson Studio and machine learning so what you will learn, you will know what Watson Studio is and its capabilities and so on. Okay, the prerequisites, the first Explorer course, if you missed the first part of the series, this we covered the Explorer and like the previous course, you also earn a badge and you can see the syllabus of what everything is about. So let me just go through the course quickly. Okay, so as always, there's the skill overview. I said as always, but you get the jail as the previous episode. Um, episode we saw that there was skill overview. This is longer. So in the age that we currently live in, all the focus has shifted towards data and so on and so forth. So there's the overview and the objectives are also written there. In getting started, talks about data, how data is fundamental. We learn about what IBM Watson Studio is and how it works. Then there's an exercise which is the hands on. So you, you have to have a cloud account for this. And the, the steps and everything to take are uh, all documented here. So you get the objectives, you have an overview of what's in studio, you create a, a what's in studio account and you clean the data, you build, train, evaluate machine learning models, and you deploy and test. And after that, there's an assessment where you need to get 80% or so 10 questions like the first. I think this course is, while well, they say you don't need like a prior knowledge, I think it's more advanced that they led on. I also think it's more about marketing there too. Yes, the tool does everything, but I feel like without a previous background, you would not be learning much. You would most likely still be confused about what you're doing. But with prior knowledge, previous knowledge, like if you've understand why you're cleaning data then when you're doing it on here you're not confused yeah you're, you're pretty much understanding what you're doing you understand why you're cleaning the data the way you're doing it the same thing with building training you it, the auto ai because there's an auto ai feature feature it simply pretty much does everything that you most likely won't have an idea it's just going to be like oh 
this wonderful tool that does everything depending on what you want to do like i said data scientist is not about the tool right it's about making sure you know how to use tools to work for you so for some people it might work to just have something very automated but i like to have an idea of what's really going on and that's why i won't really ask somebody who is trying to just move into the field to, to jump into this right away i think it's more um more advanced than the lead on i think it's more about selling their tools but at the end of the day it does the work and it pre does the prediction so after wrapping up after the assessment oh, I'm so sorry there's a plane passing right now uh, and i don't have like the room padded but how you wrap up you see there's a summary and there are next steps so they tell you you can take another course which is i think under four hours as well and you can look at various projects you can apply to the startup with ibm i think startup with ibm is for startups you get free resources using their cloud so when you do that course if you really enjoyed it then you go ahead and you can go ahead and check out all that courses that they have and other things so that's it for the review of this course i hope it was straightforward and <laughs> helpful so, um, I'll see you at the next video.